A quick note before this video starts, I'd like to apologize for some technical problems that happened with the recording of this video, uh, namely during the organ tour, our lavalier mics uh, were not recorded properly. Normally we have a backup for that situation, and unfortunately the backup had some problems as well. You'll notice there's only one camera view during most of this. It was a very early morning that we got up to do it, and the three of us you see in the video were the only three people that were on site, so there were no extra eyes or ears. Also, during the tour of the chamber, we had a problem with the camera that was recording that, so we don't have all of the original footage that we shot uh, in the chamber, just a few brief looks at the pipes. Um, this would have been a short video even if everything had gone very well because it's a small organ, and it's a wonderful organ. All of the organ recordings came out uh, exactly as they were supposed to, so that part is good. Uh, you're getting an accurate representation of this instrument, so I wanted you to hear it. So uh, we'll soldier on to Haddonfield, New Jersey, which is just across the river from Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today I'm at First Church of Christ Scientist in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Uh, joining me here is Chuck Gibson. He is the technician that takes care of this instrument and uh, knows more about it probably than anybody else. Tell me what kind of organ we've got up here. Kimball organ, a contract signed in August of 1934, installed in the church in 1935, and it's totally original um, with the exception of combination action and relay okay. and blower. The organ has been re-leathered about 15 years ago for the first and only time. Oh. Uh, so no pipe work has ever been changed or touched. It's just been tuned and very well maintained. Fortunately, this church appreciates this instrument. They know what they have, and they maintain the organ and the entire property in a very beautiful condition all the time. Well, I've only experienced Kimball's in big theatrical settings, Scottish mm -hmm. Rites. Uh, we've done two of those, but this is the first church Kimball that I've got. Uh, a, a relatively a small one. How many ranks? Ten are, ranks. Ten ranks. And it's all original from 1934. So uh, we're gonna Nick and I are gonna go give it a playthrough and look around and see uh, what this thing sounds like. Okay. Well, I'm here at the console now with Nick Meyer, who's joined me again to uh, help demonstrate this instrument that you told me about the first time. So I'm gonna accept it. You're a big fan. I love it. So uh, this is gonna be fun. Um, I've already listened to it a little bit. There's some wonderful sounds in here. Um, just ten ranks, but it fills this this room, which is not huge. Um, two kettle the congregation of this. Show me some of the sounds. What we got here? Yeah. So first, starting with the grate. It was you know the home of everything with the grate over that basin. Especially from the diapason being so dark, you 
that's going to follow up as a conservative. That's actually more strange. It is, and I have which is kind of surprising when I was playing with it earlier because you know I work with a lot of and a lot of Louisiana and Republicans and that work is fairly dark um, compared to the rest of the series. Well, a lot of the one thing is strange are pretty good. Yeah, they're all yeah, all, most of the, the whole strict division is actually six thousand five hundred people. <laughs> no, maybe somebody is with that or maybe that's a chair that it's different than nineteen thirty four. Yeah, that's just kind of an intriguing little fact. Well we are prepared for challenges, but other than that, that's all really great. It's not the most of the school ranks, so uh, it's up to the slope. Well, the I think it's even a five rank in the small. We have one unit rank that's uh wrong point. Available at two and two thirds. And two foot. Make you do this little. Take the chorus. And then there's a solutional in there. And you know, again, that could be the script. So there, there's a. Say that, that, that's an interesting sound. It's got a lot of edge to it, but it's also still dark. It yeah, is. So, uh, it's not real biting, but it's got a brightness that cuts through. Yeah, and, and what's kind of nice about that is just loud enough where you can put it with your, because there's no diabase in as well, so if you put your roll before you put it with you, you can get a diabase in Sort of a king to right? And then last but not least, in this one, we have our tuba. A, a tuba, now that's not what I would expect to see. We would expect maybe an oboe or some kind of trumpet. Yeah, and, and as we were talking with Chuck, he was saying that the church, when they bought the equipment, uh, they were saying they were offered that they could either have an oboe or a tuba, and the workers chose the tuba. Um, which is, it's kind of, it's chocolatey enough and quiet enough that you could use it as a, a solo quiet stop. But this is it by itself. Very good. 
much eight. Yeah. <laughs> and then the pedal is just one long board. That's what it's a really Access the chamber by going into an office that's behind the church here, and there is a ladder that goes up into the ceiling. It gets you into the one chamber for the organ, and this is it. Uh, we're up on the chest here, looking at the great pipes. And the chamber opening, and then uh, here's a, another look at the pipes. And this is the newly installed relay that was put in a few years ago. And sadly, that's about all I have to show you in this video. Chuck was telling us in the chamber that he now owns the company that originally installed this organ and maintained it for many years. Uh, so it has essentially been in the care of the same company for almost 90 years, which is really amazing uh, and has helped keep it in its uh, original state and quality. Now, Chuck also brought with him the original sales contract between the church and Kimball Organ Company, and it's signed by Mr. Kimball himself. So if you'd like to see a copy of that document, there's a link down in the description. My thanks to Nick Myers and Chuck Gibson for their help in demonstrating that organ. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll see fit to give us a thumbs up despite the problems with this video. We have more that will be better coming out from Philadelphia very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel. I'm Brent Johnson. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.